All right, people, I'm back again. I just read from Ephesians. You know, every once in a while, God leads me to there to let you know some things, to let me know some things. You see, why you, why you study to show yourself approved so you can keep remembering? It's like you need to read the Bible, get a refresher course. And a lot of times you're going to realize you're not reading this because of you, just only because of you. You're reading it to tell others about it. You know, if God tells you not to keep company with certain people, he tell you, yes, I know they were like, why do you sit with sinners? They told Jesus, why do you sit with sinners? He's trying to bring them to the Lord. It's not like he hung with them same people every day. Do you understand what I'm saying? He didn't just go looking for that specific group every day. Let me hang with them. They fun. They, uh, you're trying to reach them. That's what you're trying to do. You're not trying to keep company with them. So don't use the scripture like, well, the Bible says Jesus sat with sinners. All right? He didn't hang with sinners. It's a difference. We all sit with sinners. Because <laughs> we sinners ourselves sometimes. But you don't hang with sinners. You understand? That's my homeboy. My love him to death. You know, even though he robbed everybody he see. Let me tell you something. If they got the police got an APB out on your homeboy that steals and rob houses and you be in the car with him, you most likely are going to go down with him. You probably go to jail too. You might not stay there, but you're going to jail with him. You understand what I'm saying? It's like knowing somebody robbed a bank and we're like, you know, I love him, man. You know, I just love him. So I'm going to hang with him anyway. Even though I know he done robbed half the people in the neighborhood. And the thing is, you're going to realize that everybody ain't Christian. So some people who are oh, he done robbed going to seek revenge. And then you're going to be caught up in their revenge. And then you're going to be there guilty by association. Then you're going to be the one that gets shot. And be like, what happened? Well, just like somebody who sleep with somebody else's wife. Or somebody's husband. You know what I'm saying? And you hanging with them. And you know this. And then they come shoot up your house. Or they come gunning for them. Just being real with y'all people. Y'all better use y'all common sense. You see, sexually immoral people ain't no different from a thief or a murderer. You know, you're supposed to hang with like-minded folks. You know what I'm saying? People who live by the same rules and regulations that you live by. I'm not saying I try to reach the lost, but some of them ain't lost. They all the way gone. You understand? I'm just being real with you. Some of them are all the way gone. Don't get lost looking for the lost. Don't lose your way trying to help somebody else find theirs. You ever notice something in horror films? What happens all the time? You know, what happens? Like they be like, man, don't split up. And then one person find a way to split up. And then the person who's split up from them, they want to go search for them. Let me tell you something. Don't get lost. Looking for the loss. You understand? For real though. It's common sense. You see it all the time. One thing about horror films and movies, they tell you who all normally get killed in horror films. Fornicators. <laughs> Drunkards. Sexually immoral people. You know, certain characteristics. Liars. Bullies. It's like they always get taken out of it. Then the person that's Innocent, I ain't saying perfect, but innocent that's not doing none of the things that everybody else is doing. They normally live, but they don't need to always change. Sometimes they die in the movies because of who they hanging with. They die too. But like, I'm expecting them to die. They ain't did nothing. Hmm. They hung with the wrong crowd. You understand? Take these movies when people do Ouija boards and stuff. And all a group, a group of people hanging together. One person know it's wrong, Christian. Hey, man, y'all, we finna uh, do a seance. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but y'all my friends. So I'm going to do it with you. Then a, a demonic, experience, a de demonic spirit comes out and kills everybody. You know better, you do better. You understand? He told you marriage is honorable. Look for a wife. You're not trying to be out there fornicating every night like these rappers and swear they love God. Well, it's just a show they put on. Well, let's put it this way. All right, all right. Most people are like, they ain't real. What they speaking about is not real. But once it leaves your mouth, it becomes real. Do you understand? Let's put it this way. If you're not like that, don't rap about it. 
You see, a lot of people rap about things that they don't even do for publicity and for money and for stardom and fame. And then eventually they got to prove themselves. So what happens with a lot of these rappers who are not like that turn like that. They turn that way because they got an image to uphold. You understand? If you ain't like that, don't talk about it. I'm just being real. Don't be like that. It's very simple. If you pay attention, you understand? Don't be like everybody else. They do. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you something as a Christian. You're going to see a lot of people, evil people or wicked people, to get away with a lot of things. But as soon as you try to do what they do, you get caught. Because God don't want you to fall. So he's going to chastise you for a while. And Paul's not will continue.